guys, welcome back to Zalonka. Zalonka. To Zalonka. Uh, we, so, last episode, you know, we bought this, these fields down here, uh, by the potato factory, and we own all of that over yonder. And I did the soil sampling on these two new fields, a sugar beet field and a canola field. As you can see in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, they needed lime, or they needed fertilizer for sure. I'm sure they need lime as well. Um, so we're taking care of that. Um, I did go on and find a couple factories all over the board here. Can I actually get this in two passes? Not really. Um, yeah, not really. That'll be good enough. Um, yeah, for a sugar factory, maybe a, dis a different sugar factory, a, um, because we're going to have these sugar beets, right? A oil factory that will make corn oil, canola oil, olive oil, sunflower oil. However, the oil that we kind of need for the potato factory will probably not accept corn oil. So while that was a nice thought, probably not going to be too helpful. But we can get these fields in decent shape. These new fields of ours. Um, okay. I was thinking that the automatic uh, spreading wasn't working for some reason. So as you can see, uh, we had the soil sampler on the front of the cloth there. Um, let's just take a look. I, I guess we can go grab the lime. We're basically just right across the street. Uh, we can definitely extend this sugar beet field, but I'm not sure we're going to do it right this moment. Um, probably work on that for next season. Maybe even... Yeah, I'm not sure when we're going to do that. We'll have to see. Now we've got quite a bit... Quite a bit to work on. Um... I'm starting to get pallets laying all over the place. I'm going to have to load them in. <coughs> Sorry. Load them into the... Um, silo there. Oh. That as well. up the lime. Oh, I should... I should get the guy going on the rest of the planting over there. Uh, do I have lime in here? 
actually? I don't even know the answer to that question. Apparently I do not. Set off a um, no, we won't. We'll go. You should just be your sway point. You should just continue. You take back out of the way. Um, should probably raise that up. So I found a couple... Right, we're going to have sugar beets. Um, maybe we'll plant more sugar beets. Kind of make this the well, the everything's fair game. Kind of um, map. I got stuff sitting everywhere. Lime going down here. Don't know how much it's going to take. Probably a lot. Usually is the case. We're starting out new fields. As you can see, it's turning pretty green down there on the map. So this sugar beet field here, we choose to do so. I found a candy factory. Um, it would require us to probably get um, the greenhouses going. But it wouldn't require it, but. Oh yeah, that did take the fertilizer, the lime. Uh, it wouldn't require it, but we could. Uh, two things: um, honey for one, so we'd have to get bees going, and then two would be um, the greenhouses for strawberries. So we can consider that over there where we put in the or where the potato factory is and we're going to put in the oil factory we consider we could consider putting in a candy factory in a, in a sugar factory factory why am i going this way um and then between that and all of the other factories we got going that should keep us pretty well busy fied that would be a lot like a lot lot
I'm really worried about min-maxing this. It is what it is. We can make another pass up the side. Might even have to get back for more lime. But again, for this, um, I could control Z this down a little bit. These won't take near the lime in the future. Yeah, we've discussed that before. So you just kind of bite the bullet on the first time through. And then you're good to go. For the future. with that little bit of line. Uh, I didn't really want it. I'm just gonna over <coughs> overspread. Um, yeah, we'll just line the road. Sure. This field take line? Does this field need line? Let's. No, not really. Not really, but we can just deactivate the automatic. Well, let's not ruin our fields. How about it? Let's just go over here and stick the lime in the grass field. We know that'll take it. And we're just going to barrel through the dry creek bed. You can always put lime in a grass field once you've harvested it. Okay. Alright. So that, I believe... I might as well fill this up. I have a couple things of seed laying around here. That we needed for the um do we plant parsnips? So instead of trying to carry those back, we will throw 
for them in the cedar. Um, what I did not check is whether or not this uh, cotton field that is now a potato field. I did not check if that needed any line. No, it's not a potato field. That's the potato field. It's the parsnip field. Because if we need lime on that, I did put the fertilizer down. If we need lime on that, we'll go ahead and do that. Because why not? That's going to wrap up planting for the season. So, but while I'm here, you don't need pH. Do you? Um, it's good. I think we'll just leave it. That's good enough. Perfect. Yeah, I think we'll just leave it. It'll be good enough. Interesting, this field shows orange and yellow. So apparently, um, sunflowers do not require it's the same on the other field. Um, all the lime that maybe some of the others do. We have got a mess to clean up around this farm. We have got equipment to wash, stuff to put away. It is a mess. Um, I will, I guess, make an attempt to pack in this cedar in some decent fashion. bale trailer as we had spoke about previously and see if there's any way on earth 
I can possibly get around to pick up those bales. We're gonna have to go this way, maybe. Pardon me, excuse me. Um, actually, that's probably not the way. Probably the other way around. Somebody's field. Um, boy, am I going to be able to get by this bush? And that bush? Probably not. These are probably real bushes. They are. Alright, well. There's one way to deal with that. Well, there's more than one way. deal with that. And then I don't even know, honestly. Um, let me turn that off before I delete something I don't want to. I don't even know if we can still do it. I don't think we can. Can we? Maybe? Can I literally get by those and pick them up? chance whatsoever and we can all right so we'll take this down to the cows I believe start to get them on the manure production So we can drop these, we'll just drop them here, because then they'll be in the way.
where is the... Where's the Voltra? Is that the Voltra? It is. Come around here and drop this spreader off. Further clutter the yard. care of the cows from what I understand I've never really gotten into a whole lot of cow production um, from what I understand you can make a ton of money off of the milk so we'll see about that I guess as this goes on makeshift road over here He's right in front of a bush. It doesn't matter where you put this, I do not believe. This is a great size tractor for in this barn. But since we got the cows over here, on this side, let's see about... Dropping you right there, and you do go away. Okay. few more trips of that.
that clicking noise is the gear shift every time I depress and let off of the accelerator. first though. Again, it doesn't matter where you put this in this path, it just matters that you put it here. take all of this straw for sure. care of the cows and we're out of straw. Which is fine. Just park right here for the time being. Okay. 
So, yep. 79,000 liters of straw. So... Yeah. All good. So, inter interestingly, um, I did not put grass in here, but we do have the uh, animal feed mod running. So, they are eating grass. They are eating grass. So this, <coughs> this grass counts as food, but he looks good and healthy. Nobody stuck in a crick. Nobody stuck in a fence. Hey, buddy. Eat that grass. Enjoying life out here on the farm. Um. It would be nice to give them maybe another big shade tree. That's expensive. Is there another? Is there a good big? Shag bar kickery. Small oak. Just give them, you know, a little bit of something. Okay. All right, so then one more thing to do. Um, I think I know what I want to do. Uh, let's come over here. Um, nope, nope. Let's do production. Um, which one is it? That's the old mill. Well, for one, we, do, we know for sure, right, that this... I didn't have to come over here. potato chip factory, sunflower, canola, olive. So that's all it takes. I wish it didn't take olive. I wish it took something else. So, but maybe we'll have another use for corn oil for something else. Um, let's go ahead. Production. Yeah. Soybean. Canola. Corn. Sunflowers. Olives. I feel like the f that's the front of the building. So we'll do that. 
then I don't know why I left that menu. We'll do um like what? Asphalt? Is that what? It is. So we'll come in here. So I can see what I'm doing. Okay, we'll fix that up. And I think maybe we'll just create a path back. Side of the building as such. I know it's not super pretty and all, but or over function, then that's really crooked. Um, Back to here, interactive zone marker, so I can see what's what. So you're gonna draw, you're gonna pick up there. Oils, oils. Does it have the oils written on the back? It does not. Okay, so. Yeah, sorry, this is gonna drive me nuts. Sell that. I'm a lost, lost 40 grand there. Um, it has to be lined up with this. Decent. Is there, do we have any kind of, yeah, there's no, it's disappointing to me 
that giants doesn't give us any flowering plants. You know? They just don't. They don't do it. They should. Okay. Um, could I do something a little nicer on my own, though? See, like this stuff, you can't freaking put it up next to the building. Overlaps. Do we want to do anything like this? Will I regret it? Probably.
That isn't bad. So if we come... Just something like that for now. We'll probably change it up at some point in time. But we'll do that for now. I don't think I have any... Um, yeah, I don't have any parking. So we'll do that for now. I think... Other than the farm being a mess... I think that's gonna do it. Um... Yeah. I actually think that's gonna do it for this month. So we could roll into next month with you guys with me here, so... Yes. Um. Let's put on grass. Parsnips. Potatoes. Barley. Um. For you. Sugar beets. No, you're canola. Corn. That's what you were. That was okay. So, so everything has something in it. All of our fields are planted. Grass, grass, etc., etc. Yeah, everything is good to go. Um, other than I need to lime. I need to fertilize the two grass fields. And I will do that after the episode is over. So that's everything. We're in good shape. Um, yeah, is there a tractor? Actually, let me do this real quick.
to do our grass field really quick here. It won't take long at all. Jumping over, down through, in and over. This shouldn't take much fertilizer um, at all. It's not like my grandpa. Shouldn't take much at all. Tall? At all. they made those um, bridges available. I did not see those anywhere. In between episodes, I will have to clean up the farmyard. Holy crap, there's stuff everywhere. Wash the tractors. And equipment. Um, we could maybe... I was going to look for a wash bay of sorts. Um, I was going to try to put one on Michigan. Here in County, Michigan. Um, but... Did not find one for that yet. But cow barn down there. Shed. Don't mind that I'm spreading lime or fertilizer into the drinking water. No, it's no big deal. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Okay, so this is definitely going to set us up to be in great shape. We'll line these grass fields 
after the next harvest. Probably lime them every other harvest, I think, is probably sufficient for the grass. to see that shut off automatically. We have the automatic application going with Farming Simulator. And that's going to do it. We will just come down here. It's kind of rough. We'll go back over to the farm since we gotta go to sleep anyways. We've grown quite a bit. I know a lot of time hasn't passed, but we've grown quite a bit. Um, I tend to do that, I guess. Um, so I don't get a lot of years passing, which is probably not the right way to do things. Truth be told. All right, let's go in. I'm gonna sleep. Going into May, everything should have sprouted. Got a little rain for the crops. It's perfect timing. Kind of damage the loan's going to do to us. Eleven thousand. Not great. Carrots growing. Wheat is looking good. Red beets looking good. Potatoes looking good. Potatoes looking good. Sunflowers looking fantastic. The corn is growing. I don't think we have any weeds. Parsnips are growing. Because didn't we plow everything as the wheat? Grass is looking good. Cows. Starting to get some slurry and manure. The cows are growing up. 69% health. I think they will grow up um, to 100% before they start producing milk. Assuming this is the milk tank. Yep, there's the manure. And then the slurry will be over here. that to the cows the next episode. Um, 
we may need actually see how the sheepies are doing. Sheep are good. They got their additional water. This is, adds an additional 10,000 to their water supply, which is awesome. Playing over here in the mud with the pigs. Perfect. Pigs got slurry. And do you produce manure? You do, you are producing manure. Good. $60,000 worth of sugar beets in here. Um, I'm not sure about the pig feed. We may not. We may end up. Boy, I wonder if I can get them out. We may not do that. Sunflowers are growing. Looking beautiful. That's good. Why did that say bad? Nope, that's good. Crop rotation on this road is bad. Um, canola is looking fantastic. No weeds in the canola. That's not ours. So we got no weeds in the canola, which is fantastic. We may not have weeds anywhere. Burger beets are growing. Expected yield 142%. Expected yield 136%. So things are looking good, and there really isn't anything to do on the farm. Um, let's check production. Uh, nothing going on there. That's going there. We can put more in there. Um, those don't need to be active. Still got carrots and parsnips. And we're still making this stuff. Yeah. Okay. So that's a good deal. So we could actually... And unless I'm missing something... We can roll into the next month. Let's sleep again. Still rolling. Um, nice. This is great. Uh, animals, cows, 100%. Haven't started producing milk yet, but they're up to 100%. Um, 80,000. See, don't. This is great. This grass, less hay required. That's fantastic. Sheep, doing the sheep stuff, still great shape. Pigs, percent, going to be reproducing. I don't know why they're not producing any slurry at all, but they're not. I don't care. Chickens, uh, I think we got new chickens. They're one month old. Lots of food. Starting the eggs. Yep. Alright, so we'll leave it here for now. Um, we're going to roll again into next month. And... Um, in the meantime, I'm going to clean up the farmyard, clean up the equipment, get everything put away. That's going to get us ready to get into the harvest season. Um, the grass is ready to cut. 
I'm guessing it's actually ready ready. Sometimes it tells you it's ready, but it isn't ready. It may need another month. It needs another month, the grass. See, it should be that height. So the grass will need another month. And... Which is about perfect timing because that silo for making hay will be empty. Yeah, so we'll clean everything up. Um, and then, yeah, I was starting to look here. Sugar beets. No. Wheat is getting close. Wheat is probably next month. No. Two months. Oh. Three months. Hmm. No. One month. Sorry. Next month. Wheat will be ready to harvest next month as well. Canola, possibly too. Um, that's across the road. Yeah, that canola may be ready next month too. So that's what we'll do. We'll clean up. We'll get ready for the harvest season. And we'll be right back here next time. On Zalonka, thanks for watching everybody. Appreciate you do the YouTube stuff. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.